Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Today we're going to start to add our notifications in our project and I am going to use the toast notifications. Let's find out to GitHub documentation first because we might need to look some configurations from um, provided from the founder of these notifications. And let's type in toast notification GitHub. Let's click the link and here the documentation you can if you struggle something you can have a look whenever you want guys okay let's back to the visual studio and i'm going to add manage nuclear, nuclear packages open the open the packages and i'm going to add the notify api and toast the notify let's edit oh i already edit yeah previous uh, before the lesson I was trying to see how can I do the configurations and I was forget to delete it okay if you you probably don't going you don't have anything about like that so just click the toast notification and install and it will be in your project now okay after edit your service layer you will able to use the UI layer as well because we used a reference um, for the service layer as you can see just click the dependency and click the projects and you will see you have a, uh, you will have a service layer here so also you will have all dependencies comes with the service layer and you can see our repository layer entity and core and it, go, it goes like this so once if you want if you add an library once so you don't need to add one more time if you couldn't see uh, the previous edit APIs or libraries you just need to uh, get back the reference and edit again so if you couldn't see um, your toss notifications in your service layer like this one just right click the UI layer and go to the project reference and untick it okay and just let's do it together and right click again at project reference and let's give the reference again so just we just doing refresh and it's coming it will be work after all okay all right let's go to the our controller now i'm going to start from sign up section this is the view. This is the authentication. Sign up. Oh, this is the CSS one. All right, we're going to use that one as well. Just keep it beside, and let's go to the controller authentication. Okay, let's add first our DI uh, private read only I toast notification, which we're going to use. And let's give a name toasty and let's add these parameters to our constructor let's edit okay let's go to the login for the password sign up there. all right let's do the sign up when it succeed I'm gonna send the succeed message so just add the toasty now and add success toast message and we're going to add our message um, let's put a dollar sign user dot username um, has been cre cre created successfully Success. Uh, I'm not gonna write this letter. It's make too long. Has been created. Is okay. I don't. I don't want a long message. So let's add a title. New toaster options. Title is going to be congratulations. Congratulations. 
Congratulations. Now, okay. All right. Our message has been added. BI edit. Manage package done. And we need to add our configuration now. I'm going to add the configuration normal program system. And if it's needed for the future, now I can cut from here and create a new extension and I can edit over there. Okay. Now add uh, toast to not fee toasted. Yeah, this is what I'm going to use it. And new toaster options. So I'm going to delete it because I'm using namespaces top of my every pages use toast to notify all right let's get inside title not title let's close first um, let's have a look quickly progress bar and team we have team yeah, but I'm gonna add, I'm gonna make these configurations. Let's copy from here. And let's add. All right. Bottom center. Okay, this is what I want exactly. S let's go back to sign up site now. So we need to add another configuration. This section should be add to our CSH to file. Normally we add this to our layout page, but sign up doesn't have a layout page. And also we need to add our basic scripts comes with the Microsoft. All right. Now it should have work. All right, let's sign up a new person within browser. I'm waiting to page to be opened. Let's start Michael Jordan, new four five. Email is random, password is the same before. Let's create it. Hmm, we don't have because we need to add the notification to the login page because we sent the notification to the login page. So it must be work in the login page. Oh, I guess la let's, let's try one more time. random one password as usual now create account and login page and yeah we have congratulation message here perfect now it's all right let's close all of them so it's working let's see how many minutes have been done it's nine minutes i'm gonna leave it here and should i leave it now let me have a look at controllers with it sign up do we need to log in of course we need to log in as well when it succeed the malloc validation as users login result all right we have a login result. It's going to return URL. We have a login result is locked out. Okay. But it's the login. Yeah. 
validation user sign in and logged out we can we can logged out if it succeed where is where it's directed if it succeed yeah here is succeed perfect so i'm going to add task notification here Add success task message. You have logged in. Please have fun. New toasters options title. Congratulations. All right, do we need to add something extra? Just try to log in. Just try to log in and let's have a look what's gonna happen. All right, what was our email address? Yeah, password is password one, two star. Let's log in. Yeah, we didn't see because why we didn't see any message here? Because we didn't add uh, our scripts and components so we need to edit login page which is username uh, sorry user pages share it let's edit here let's try one more time login sign up login yeah we went browser password one to star let's log in now this is admin why admin coming by the way when i logged in let's have a look at our login page sign up this is login Return URL. It, it's direct us to return URL, right? When I do sign up, actually sign up. Ah, uh, if it's no return URL, it's going admin. Let's do it user. Perfect. All right, now it will be work. Sign. Login. Within browser. Now, probably it's going to work. Password, one, two, star. Yeah, here we go. You have logged in, please have fun. It's very nice. What we have after login. Forget password, reset password, 69. When we forget password, let me see validation has users. If there is a user, could credential and send. I'm just thinking, is there anything should we add extra? Forget password. 
position with notification login notification actually we can add another task notification here how is working let's try to use the forget password section within browser actually we need to add forget password link here as well let's have a look how many minutes it's and it's a 15 minutes let's add forget password section here copy all of them forgot password control authentication action forgot password renew your password let's have a quick now renew your password when I collect it email section come here when I click at select link it's going to send me direct me to the reset password right let me have a look now login close everything controller not controller view let's open controller as well when forward password is sent email is going to be sent and we are going to redirect to authentication why we direct the authentication this is for good password we need to send to reset password hmm. login authentication guys it's been 17 minutes if I try to add the oh, for good password and reset password it's going to take too much minutes let's leave it exactly here and with the other lesson we can continue with the for good password and reset password messages and once we've finished our auth authentication page we're going to go through about our messages and we're going to create a um, central system for our messages and it's easy to manage them if it's needed for the future and we can also we can edit and change it uh, we're going to create a kind of interface class system for the messages all right okay perfect take care of yourself guy let's see on on the other lesson take care of yourself bye bye